takeoff. Guys, today we're testing the DJI Mini 2 at the world famous Pleasure Beach. How can it handle the signal in an interfered area like this? Is it good for the shots? Can it get nice and close up to things? Let's go and find out. So welcome to the video guys, today we're at the Blackpool Pleasure Beach, we're going to be looking at signal, it's going to play a crucial part, at the moment you can see in the top corner we've got a full bar of signal as we're flying just over the Pleasure Beach here, we're going to look at some of the famous rides, get some nice cinematic shots, get some photos and then just show you just how great this drone is, the portability factor on this drone is amazing but what about the wind and the signal, could that be a downside, let's go and find out. So just in front of us we've got the big one there, that's a famous ride, we've got Avalanche, We've got Icon, the new ride, and the Red Arrows. These are just some of the rides in this area, and boy, it looks brilliant on this drone. Comment down below if you've been to the Pleasure Beach. I've spent many a good time here. and Let me know if you have and what your favorite ride is. So, so far that signal's bob on. We've got full signal, full bar still, no interference whatsoever. And that wind is having no effect on the stability of this drone at all. Get no wind warnings. So this is at a decent height now. We'll look at the pictures. We can get a nice photo there. And then the raw image as well edited. Brilliant to be able to get photos as well. Dead smooth. But having that signal gives you that confidence to fly. But let's go and concentrate now on the big one. This is the main attraction at this park. It's just over 200 feet high, the highest point, which is about 60 meters. So no problem for this drone to handle that. Let's go and see it. So that certainly looks good on this DJI Mini 2. I've just got the CPL filter on today as well. I'll talk about that in a second. But that signal again over the park now. Get a nice bird's eye shot. Shots like this you won't be able to do normally. But that signal has caused me no bother whatsoever. And with having that CPL filter on it just makes all the colours. Quite a colourful park. Just pop even more. You're going to get more vibrance in your shots. And then all these shots now, none of them are edited. It's just straight using that CPL filter which I'll link in the description. So the signal is still bob on, so that OcuSync 2.0 is brilliant. Let's head over to this other ride now. This is called the Ice Blast, just in yellow there. Let's go and film around that. This is a really good ride as well. It just blasts you up in the air as well. Great. Let's go and check this out. It is sad to see the park so quiet. This normally would be absolutely bustling with people, but not a single person here. So this DJI Mini 2 can certainly get some great footage. That sun has set, but with that CPL filter on, you're going to get some more poppy and vibrance in your photo or video, but you can get Shots like this with a DJI Mini 2 419 pound drone, remarkable. If you haven't bought this drone, go and treat yourself. You will not regret it. Let's look at some photos now. So we're going to get a wide angle shot and then this just takes multiple shots for you. And then you get a super wide angle shot. You can see the town on the left, Pleasure Beach and the beach all in one. But what I found was when it was taking all these photos, which you also get stored, it captures some great photos as well, which I didn't even think about until afterwards, like this one and then this one. Remarkable. Look at that. They are edited, but wow, it's great to be able to take shots like that. I didn't even realize. The signal was on four bars, so four out of five bars, considering 400 meters away, and I'm out. So got all this interference around me and in front of me. It is incredible that that drone can handle a signal like this. I think the signal's actually got better. It's actually even better than when I first got this drone. So every improvement seems to has improved that drone a bit more. Let's put it into cine smooth mode now, and we're going to come back. And we're going to look at the Pepsi Max big one again, and then have a look at that first drop. I 
I hope you like that guys I thought that came out really well on this mini too and remarkable so this first drop here it's so goddamn scary because you're at the very top there you haven't got a clue where you are it's a really steep decline so it looks like you're just going to go flying into the sea but the beauty with this mini too is I can actually recreate and show you what that looks like so let's go and fly up to the top and then we'll go down and show you what it looks like so we're just going to get it angled now so it's direct in the front of the picture here we'll use that two times to zoom and then we're just going to fly really slowly towards that drop and then i'm going to point the gimbal down as we do a pleasure beach give me a call let's go work together and i'll do you an advertisement video wow this pleasure beach is so great to film it's brilliant and this drone amazing quality for this drone that cpl filter everything looks brilliant i can't believe none of these shots are edited we've had no problems with that signal today the wind has caused us no issues i do get amazed still nearly six months later with this drone I can't believe it. I just cannot recommend this drone enough for the price point, for the restriction free flying you're going to get with under 250 grams, depending on which country you're in. But God, it, it's so good. I just can't believe it. The photos we've got today, we've got some nice pictures, some edited, some just taken out for you. You've got photos and video choice. You can get great shots, cinematic shots that we've got. It does everything for you. All it needs is a pilot to be able to pilot it and get them shots. So go and practice, go and watch all the videos that I've done. I really hope you enjoy this drone and I love hearing the feedback saying that you've tried it and it works for you or you've tried this and it's brilliant. So thanks so much for watching the videos. A like and subscribe would be awesome if you're new around here and we'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye bye.